of the things I love about the way the stick is designed is that it's really easy to get the hands all the way up uh, to the highest point of the board since there's no body on it. Uh, it's uh, an equal feeling no matter where you play. So as I uh, play down here, I have an equal feeling going up the strings. My hand can keep its same attitude relative to the board. Uh, so I feel like this really encourages me to want to uh, move around the board laterally instead of staying within the same uh, position all the time. And uh, because I'm using a three-fingered melody technique, that's a very easy thing to do uh, just by virtue of knowing uh, a few basic scales. So let me show you uh, how that works. Uh, we'll start, uh, we'll do this in F, which uh, if you have the stick book, you'll notice um, the page 6-5 in the stick book, which is the first finger modes in F. So you learn how all of the scales feel, starting with the first finger. And we can follow that in F so that you have a reference point in the book. Uh, but first what we'll do is we'll play uh, the, um, the Lydian scale, which is the most major scale. So that goes uh, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So you see that uh, B natural up there. And then from there uh, you go to the, um, the Ionian scale, which is the regular major scale. So and then we have the Mixolydian scale, so the 7 gets flatted. And then you have the um, Dorian scale, where the 3rd gets flatted. And the Aeolian or the natural minor scale where the sixth gets flatted and then you have the uh, uh, Phrygian scale where the second gets flatted and then you have the Locrian scale where the fifth gets flatted to sing while I'm playing them because I always like to try to connect my voice with my hand uh, and with my ears. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these scales that I just played and, and rather than play them in the order of the major, most major Lydian to most minor, I'm going to play them as they relate to the positions of the key on the board. And the first of these is going to be uh, the major scale. My next one is going to be moving up to the G, which would be the Dorian scale with my second finger. Okay, but I don't want to play this with my second finger. What I'm trying to do is to train my hand to feel that first finger line on each of these scales. So it's going to be instead here, moving up to this position to play the Dorian scale. that major six that we have there. And then moving up to the next note, which would be A, that's going to be the A Phrygian scale. And then the next shape is the Lydian. Then the Mixolydian. And then the Aeolian. Then we have to come down here to play, um, as I'm running out of frets, so I have to come down here to play the other modes, which is the Locrian. So here's the Ionian again. Then uh, if I go down here to where the uh, Aeolian is again, Then up to the next one is the Locrian. Then I have the Ionian again. So now I've covered all the different uh, modal positions uh, for the key of F major. And what that enables me to do is to take the first three notes of each of those scales and use those to navigate one string so that I can play a solo along one string just by remembering what the notes are on the very bottom of the scale. So first I'm gonna play just the, the bottom three notes of the Ionian position. 
Now I'm going to move up to the next position, the Dorian position, and play those three notes. So it's a whole step, half step. And then I'm going to move up to the Phrygian position. So I've got... And then I've got my Lydian position. And then my Mixolydian position. And my Aeolian position. Of course, I don't have enough uh, space to continue all the way up to the locrium. So what I'll do is I'll go down here and I'll go. There's my uh, Ionian, and I go down to my locrian, and down to my Aeolian, and I can keep going all the way down to my uh, Mixolydian. I keep going until I run out of frets in the other direction. So that's how to play along the line in just that one key. Let me play a little bit of a melody there, and you can just see how this is going to work in terms of how I'm going to shift my hand around. So um, I'll go... Now, uh, I don't always have to do this just in major. Let's say I wanted to play uh, F mixolydian. I wanted to get that flatted seventh in there. So that would shift all of the scales uh, to a different reference point. to go minor and play uh, uh, Aeolian, for example, that would be starting with the F Aeolian here, and then go below that, let's start by going down this time, we're going to have Mixolydian here, and Lydian down here, and then it goes down to Phrygian here. That's a beautiful sound. I love when that Lydian. The Aeolian. Frit, uh, Locrian. Lo uh, Ionian. Dorian. Phrygian. Lydian. And I don't have enough um, frets to do the Mixolydian going that way. So uh, it, it's just shifting the starting point, and since I know all the modal scales by heart, it's very easy just to take that bottom string, think about the first finger position, and move around. So what I really like about this uh, extending it to the left hand is that we're going to use the same exact fingerings in the same movements because there's no tuning difference. So it's easy to apply the three finger technique we're using on the right hand to the left hand with a very consistent feel. We can play unison in both hands. We'll play F on each side. So if I want to start, for example, in uh, Mixolydian. There's my Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian, Locrian, Aeolian, uh, Mixolydian, and then uh, Lydian. So I can play uh, with both hands playing the same exact fingering patterns. Mostly what I like to do is to just set up a little drone in my left hand and then play along with it uh, in the right hand and change the modes around at will uh, for a nice little Middle Eastern kind of a sound.
tapping.